I think for a lot of people, history starts with their personal lives, and it's talking to a grandparent who has a story to tell, and having that grandparent's story lead you to a wider understanding of what was going on in history. And in Robert's case, I think he loved art, and he became interested in the monuments, man. I mean, just follow those threads, pull those threads, because we're all connected uh, in one way or another, and it's really through learning our shared history, our common history, that we understand our shared humanity. Robert is a person with an amazing amount of energy, an amazing amount of passion, and dedication, and devotion. He's been a very, very successful person, but he's taken that success, and he has given back, and he has allowed the light to shine on other people. I mean, that's exactly the kind of person we love to honor with our Records of Achievement Award. A person who cares about history, who's used the records of the National Archives, and who cares so much about the stories of others that he's willing to share them. Uh, about 11 years ago, I was walking across this bridge, the Ponte Vecchio here in Florence, and looking over my shoulder at the Ponte Santa Trinita, and it occurred to me how all these great works of art, all these fantastic monuments throughout Europe had survived the most destructive conflict man's ever known, World War II. All over the world, the walls are tumbling down. For well, this is the battle for the world. The battle for a world free from war. A world free from the fear of tumbling walls. Prize thief among the high Nazis was Hermann Goering, who looted museums and private collections in all parts of Europe. Much was hidden in caves, and advancing troops captured fully laden freight cars, ready to move much of the collection to safer places. One of the, the terrible, terrible um, aspects of war that doesn't always get a, a lot of attention is the intentional destruction of uh, a society's culture as a way of penalizing the enemy. Artwork and cultural artifacts oftentimes sort of measure human progress. They're markers for us sort of in the longer arc of history. When we lose these things, when they're damaged, when they're destroyed, it doesn't matter what country they're in. They belong to everybody. They're part of our shared cultural heritage. And when that art is stolen or when that art is destroyed, it really destroys the soul of a people. I think what's really extraordinary is after Europeans saw the total destruction of Warsaw, Poland in particular, you had a country like France completely evacuate their major museums. But the Nazis were tracking where everything was going and oftentimes were able to get these items even if they were removed from the major national museums. We, instead of stealing things, were involved in returning things to the rightful owner. Some things that uh, we should be damn proud of. So many of the famous paintings and sculptures that really we take for granted now uh, are still available to us because of the work of the Monuments Men. And Robert Etzel has really made their story come alive. Robert Etzel saw to it that a documentary was made and the books. Then of course over here he talked uh, George Clooney into making the movie. His work, both through the foundation and through the book, which became a motion picture, is helping people reassess the ownership of these pieces of artwork. I think anytime you put a story in film, I think you, you reach a broader audience. What pleases me about this film is that it's accurate. Robert has not only done research here and used that research to write books and do films, Robert has also donated actual documents and photo albums to the National Archives. Not only have I relied on the archives, we've also found a number of historically important documents that were not at the archives that individuals had, in some cases American veterans, that brought these things home as souvenirs having no idea about their importance. And it was important to me to see that they have a proper home. I think when Robert began to understand the importance of the art and the importance of the individuals who had saved the art, in some ways this became a selfless mission of his. 
he's devoted himself to helping to find uh, these missing pieces of, of art and artifacts and to bring them back to their rightful owners. It was about Robert shining a light on these men and women who had worked so hard to make sure that this art was preserved, that this art was rescued. He wanted to make sure that their story didn't get lost. We learned so much from the people who use the collection that many of the discoveries that are made are made by researchers. One of the things that I, I hope is a takeaway from my experience, in particular for younger people, is the enormous treasure chest of information that's at the National Archives. So every time I walk into those big brass doors, I realize that the story of America is here in these walls. And those are stories yet to be told.